Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the virtualization in Windows 11. How you can enable it or if your system supports virtualization or not. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. Right click on start menu and choose the option task manager over here. Now here click on the performance tab and here under the CPU you will find the option of virtualization. It will tell you whether virtualization is enabled or disabled in your PC. If it is disabled, you need to enable it first entering into the BIOS and then installing. So let's move further step by step. Next is click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Type here system info and hit the enter key. Now scroll down and you will find the option of Hyper-V requirements. Here either you will find the option like it is showing a hyper vision has been detected or else you will find another information with the name SLAT which is second level address translation. If next to it it is showing yes that means that your system supports virtualization. Now let's proceed further to enable it into the BIOS menu. Head over to the settings menu, scroll down and you will find the option of recovery. Click on it. Now here in the advanced startup you will find the option of restart now go ahead and click on it to restart your system into the advanced options now after choosing the advanced options a screen will open like this from here you need to click on the option troubleshoot click on the advanced options and then choose the option uef5 firmware settings click on it now again click on the restart option Now it is showing me various F1 to F11 keys. So I'll choose the F10 key to enter into the BIOS menu of my PC. Depending upon the type of system you have, you may have a different BIOS key which I will share you in the description of this video. From here, using the left and right arrow keys, head over to the configuration tab. Now again using the arrow key up and down, you will find the option of virtualization which is enabled at my end. If it is disabled, you need to hit the enter key and again using up and down arrow keys, you can enable the virtualization in your system. Once enabled, hit the F10 key. It is asking me to save the changes. Again hit the enter key, changes are saved and then your system will restart to your windows again. This is how you will enable the virtualization in your PC. Now let's install the virtualization in the system after restarting the PC. Now after enabling the virtualization in the BIOS menu, head over to the settings menu, click on the option apps over here. Now here click on the option optional features. Scroll down and you will find the option of more windows features. Click on it. From here you need to check mark the icon Hyper-V. Secondly is scroll down and you will find the option of virtual machine platform. Again check mark this option. And next one is Windows Hypervision platform. Check mark this. You need to check mark these three options and then hit the OK button. Once you hit the OK button, it will start to search for the required files and these files will be installed after restarting your PC. As it is saying that you must reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. So make sure you click on the option restart now and this is how you will enable the virtualization in your windows pc so this is all about it friends this is how you can check virtualization and enable it in your windows 10 or windows 11 if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching